When a boater calls and tells me that the uh, hydraulic power unit motor doesn't run but he hears the solenoid valves clicking, the first thing I think of is water damage. And this is basically what a typical water damage pump will look like. The pump is designed to be mounted in a secure environment and uh, sometimes the installer might have put it a little bit low and it might have gotten submerged. And this is probably a pump that actually got submerged. The power unit doesn't run, the valves click, it's time for a new pump. This is how a typical water damage pump will behave when you're doing a, a diagnostic test. I've got power to the uh, red wire for the solenoid valve and I'm going to tap ground here and you're going to hear the click. Solenoid valve is good, but what happens when I put power to the motor wire? Motor doesn't turn, just a big spark. That's a typically water damage pump.